impression. So I have several questions for this recording. Uh, so basically, as I mentioned that I'm doing a, a questionnaire survey on the investigating vulnerabilities and network infrastructure. So first of all, I would like to know that uh, like uh, you have been in the industry for a while. So what is your current role in this industry and like uh, uh, in terms of the network and security stuff? Sure. Uh, thanks, Rasheel. Uh, and uh, allowing me to participate in, in your uh, uh, professional journey. And so uh, I am I am into network security domain from past 17 years. And uh, I have been working with various different platforms, technologies around network and security. Um, and, and this is so vast technology that every day there is new uh, uh, tools are getting generated uh, uh, in the market. So yeah. yeah. Thanks. So the first question I have is that uh, what are the primary methods or approaches used in the investigating the vulnerabilities in network infrastructure as per your experience? So uh, usually uh, vulnerabilities across the network infrastructure uh, runs from your application layer to your system layer to to every layer in in an it stack the we call about including the iot's devices as well like your printers uh, cctv cameras etc and this is very crucial uh, aspects of a network where uh, vulnerabilities needs to be discovered first and then it needs to be remediated uh, based on how critical the vulnerability is. So the methods uh, that are applied are, are, there are proactive methods and proactive is, is, is used across a mature organization. Um, so in a proactive methods, you have a discovery scan across your infrastructure, across your network infrastructure to identify the vulnerability first. So identification part would be the first step. And then the remediation part would involve whether that vulnerability is, is actually uh, exploitable or not exploitable, right? So as we know, in an infrastructure, you can have many vulnerabilities, but not every vulnerabilities have any direct impact on your systems. So you really need to uh, focus your resources and efforts on those one which are actually critical to your to your business, uh, which has a direct impact on your organization. So in a proactive uh, method, you uh, discover a vulnerability by utilizing various tools and technologies like say Qualys Guard, Nessus, Nexpos. These are some of the uh, a great tools in the market which organization leverages to run an ongoing scan across their infrastructure to identify vulnerabilities. So, and and, and also the, the, in a proactive method, you also have something called as a penetration testing. So you regularly conduct penetration testing across your network infrastructure to see how good are your defenses. Uh, whether somebody from outside can get inside in your network or not by exploiting any open vulnerabilities. So these are the exercise that should be done on an ongoing basis. You can also leverage uh, third party partners or external vendors to, to look at your infrastructure from an outside in view. Uh, uh, to get a fresh perspective from a vendor side, uh, and that that would also help you in your audit. Uh, so yeah. this was the proactive method uh, which you can apply. However, there are uh, reactive method as well, and and that is something we deal in a day to day operations, and that's why every organization have a security operation function uh, assisting with the reactive methods. So in this way, you we focus on vulnerabilities remediations when there is an incident occurs in the organization. So we really try to investigate those incidents and uh, we ultimately lead up to 
an open vulnerabilities in the environment which got exploited that's why a security incidents uh, happened uh, so so this is something that you know after the fact something has happened and then you are investigating and that's called as a reactive method however this is also uh, an important part of of the organization uh, uh, control uh, from a security perspective that you you should have a well defined incident response plan to deal with such eventuality and deal with some such security breaches due to uh, an exploitable vulnerabilities which exist in your organization mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. I think you covered both the questions, which was which were follow up questions like the proactive and the reactive, and also yeah. you touched base on some of the tools. So on the tools and techniques, uh, you mentioned quite a few. Uh, like, uh, would you recommend that these are some very standard tools used across industry as of now? Sure. Uh, so. Uh... Doing a security management does involve tooling. Uh, however, tooling alone does not uh, secure your organization. You really need to have a robust processes around it. Uh, and uh, the effectiveness of the tool is very important. You, you use any vendor tool. It does not matter these days. However, it does matter how you manage those tools, how you fine tune those tools, how you make that tool hygiene uh, to only discover the right vulnerabilities or the really important vulnerabilities than going across and scanning everything and, and identifying multiple false positives. Uh, so tools effectiveness important and as a recommendations, if, if I have to say that as I said, right, uh, you have one is discovering the vulnerabilities or identifying the vulnerability and then patching those vulnerabilities. Uh, so for vulnerabilities alone, uh, from a reactive method, you you can, you know, utilize tools like Qualys Guard, uh, Tenable, Nessus, uh, Rapid7, we also call it as Nexpose, uh, OpenVAS, uh, but it, but in the market, you will find 80% of the organizations are either using uh, Qualys Guard or Tenable or Rapid7. So these three are on the top from a discovery, the discovering the vulnerabilities. And please note that these tools are only meant for discovery. They have no ability or capability to remediate those vulnerabilities for remediations again there are multiple tools which are leveraged in the market right if the vulnerabilities are associated with microsoft related again vulnerabilities have vulnerabilities are dealt differently for different systems if it is a micro if it is a operating system related vulnerabilities and that too if it is microsoft then you leverage tools like SCCM, Microsoft SCCM to do the patch management. You also, you can also leverage Tanium, Tanium kind of solution to distribute all the uh, patches across your Windows operating systems environment. Again, when it comes to application vulnerabilities, uh, when I say application vulnerabilities, again, there are two definitions of application. One is a thin client which is sitting on your laptop and desktops, and one is an enterprise applications. And again, in enterprise applications, again, there is a bifurcation between the application layer and the code layer, right? So code layer vulnerabilities, there are a separate tool sets altogether in the market, uh, which are like check marks, sonar cube, um, uh, there are multiple tools like that, which does only code level. We call it as a SAST, Static Application Security Testing. Uh, and of course, at the end of the day, this also identifies the vulnerability. So for again, as I said, for remediations, depending on the type of systems from where you identified the vulnerabilities, the remediations tools might differ. Okay. Yeah, thanks. I think this is a good detailed answer. 
Yeah, thanks for all the details. Uh, one last question is like, what would you advise based on your experience that what the organization should do uh, uh, in an ideal scenario? Uh, what what should be the ideal process of making sure that the vulnerabilities are? Uh, I'm sure it's a continuous improvement, but it's like, what would be your recommendation typically? Sure. Uh, the most important piece uh, I would advise for an organization is to have a robust vulnerability management program and patch management program and not just having that program in the paper but that program needs to be uh, socialized agreed upon with all the stakeholders all the support team within the organization because as i said before discovering vulnerability is one piece of it but the final and the real challenge would come when you are going to remediate those vulnerabilities because your business's processes are dependent on all those systems and applications which are running in the environment. And if you have to remediate, then of course you would, you might require some downtime, you might require some you know window where you can perform those patches. And of course that will impact the, uh, the system operations or the network operations for that duration of the patching. Hence, it is essential to have a collaborative uh, developed program which is agreed upon with every stakeholders. And of course, there has to be a SLA defined, uh, which is called as a service level agreement between the various different groups who are responsible for discovering the scan and patching those identified vulnerabilities. So, Number one piece, having a robust vulnerability management and patch management program. Number two, awareness. They need to be educated. So education and awareness uh, to the security team, to the IT support team, to all the key stakeholders about the vulnerabilities in general is very important. And how we mitigate on time is, is critical as well. So yeah, these two ad advice if the companies uh, keeps it, uh, that would also help. I I'm sorry, and I forgot to add one more, is general incident response plan, uh, which is, you can say that's one common umbrella under which everything comes. Uh, so uh, again, that, that's your reactive approach, uh, uh, you know, evolves from. Uh, so any security incidents happens, you should know how to deal with it and you should know what the processes flows and that's your incident response plan. So companies should have these uh, three things, education, incident response plan, and volunteer management and patch management program. Thanks, Chandan. This is really detailed and it's like, this is exactly what I was looking for all the questions answered. Appreciate your time and sure. thanks again for help. Sure. Thanks. Thank you, man.